Hello, I'm here again for another tutorial. This time we'll be looking at the palettes. These are your palettes. Now, usually, if you're not seeing this area over here, you're probably used to your color tab looking like this. If you actually want to use them or view them, you'll click on this button. It says show palette list view. Click on that and it shows you your list of palettes basically. Now you'll notice that it will be this by default your palettes will be the same type as your file name. You can also rename them if you want to. Just right click and choose to rename to remove them. You can even import palettes from other sources. So you can also take into consideration this. If you remember in the last tutorial, we'll talk about templates. If you have a template with its own palettes, once you import that template, it will carry over the palettes for it. So that's something that basically is shared across the board for your projects. Now what I want to show you is, well, how to create a palette, which is really simple, and what you can use them for. To create a palette, you just click on the plus button here. You give it a name, say, Let's call this grass and I'll just use that and show you an example. Now, by default, my grass palette is just black, so I'm going to add another color. Of course, grass is green, probably add two colors, a light green, too, and maybe a white. Or really light green. Multi wheel mode. Green. And we can actually start drawing some grass here. So let's get in on it, shall we? Space bar. I get my default color. Start doing some grass here. Of course, you want to make sure it's filled up. And fill this in with green. Whoops. And then I could actually start drawing some other shades of green, like say, for example, or rather, let me do this. Dark. Fill that in. And you can use the letter color to, well, do the letter color. And stuff like that. Right? So that's how you could use your palette. This is just coloring, really. So that's my grass. I'll just clear that for now. So you see, I have a palette for my grass and my Jake character. Now, what should happen if you delete your palette? This is what happens. You drew your grass, you delete the palette having to do with the color, and basically it tries to show you that you have a problem here. So this is by default the red that would come up in case you have lost colors. Is there a color recovery? Well, I haven't messed around with that feature yet, but hopefully I'll get there one day and make a tutorial on that. Well, that's my grass right now. 
so what I'm going to show you now is how to rather get my character to change colors based on a palette clone now you can actually duplicate your palettes which is not hard you just right click choose duplicate it will make a palette that has everything that had you had in the previous palette so wait. Duplicate, just call it Jake copy. Press OK, and it has all the colors that the original Jake palette had. Same thing here, can't really tell a difference. But if I change anything in this one, it will not affect my current drawing because my current drawing is being used by Jake. So if you make a clone though, it will actually affect the original color or basically the drawing, not the original colors. Because if you make a clone, you can always add colors to those. So here's an example. I go on Jake, right click, and I choose clone. And I'll just call this one Jake Knight because I'm going to change these colors to a dark color. Oh, it already exists. Okay, night zero zero. So, oh, concerning that message, it was because the palettes actually found inside my this area, right? Inside my file, my folder, palette library actually has a Jake Knight already. So that's why I couldn't rename it Jake Knight. Unless you actually go to your and deleted it. So. Here we go. So now I have Jake Knight. I'm going to edit his colors. Really easy. You just right click on the palette and choose tint panel. Now there's three ways you can actually do this. It actually shows you the list of colors you want to use or change. I'll just choose Jake Knight. And I'm going to be using offset just to show you how it use. I'm used to using blend. So We'll actually finish off with that one. So I'll say it works like this. I'll just select the colors I want to change, which is all of them except black and white. Holding down control to take off the selection. And you just increase the amount as well as you can change either the hue, the saturation, or the value, or the red, the green, and the blue value. Whichever one you're used to. He has to do with the color. So you'll notice my character over here changing color. So I'm sorry with the hue you'll see him changing color. If I miss with the saturation that takes it between how much color? If there's no saturation, then there's basically gray. If there's more saturation, then it's a brighter color. Value has to do with the black and white. Yes. So that's how you work with that. And of course, you have your RGB, which increases the red, green, or the blue value. And you can always change the alpha too. Just make your character more transparent. You'll notice that my neck starts showing right there. And my eyeball over there. My arms and such. Alright, so let's go to. I'll just reset this. Now we'll go to Blend. Blend is what I actually use a lot. What it basically does is allow you to mix your original colors with this color. So I'll show you how it works. Control A again. Deselect the white and the black because all well, the white and black. Highlight. Let's keep that. And choose a nice dark blue color since we're going to do a night thing. Choose that and you just increase the amount. Oh, I need to click on preview. So I click on preview, you'll notice it starts changing it to a dark bluish shade. And you notice also that, well, if you're actually paying attention really close, you notice that as much as I increase the amount, my texture is not affected. So what you'd actually have to do is go out of your own way and create a texture that matches well the dark blueness of what you want to use. 
So we also have Mixo, which I find really weird. I guess it has to do with both a, mi a blend as well as a mixer. So let's try it out. Change the tint, put the light blue, and change this as green, just to see how this works. So it kind of mixes both the colors. I guess one leans to the other one, while the other goes the other way. Right? So that's how it works. I'll just stick with blend and press apply once you apply it. It basically changes all the values back and treats them as original colors. So even if you press reset, that's the colors that stick. Now since this is a clone, it will actually change on the drawing. So that's why you probably you, you noticed just now. I go on regular Jake, he goes back to the original colors. If I go back to Jake Knight, on the dark colors. If I go on the copy. Well, copy is there. Grass, this is probably grass. This is, so, you see how it works, right? So, that's how palettes work. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned something. Take care. God bless.